So this is honey, Melipona honey to be exact. Now there are over 300 different types of honeys in the world today, each one of them boasting their own special set of health and nutritional benefits. But this honey is special. The Melipona bees that make this are on the verge of extinction, as too is the ancient art of taking care of these bees. In our technology-infused day-to-day world, it's easy to forget about the little things that hold the delicate balance of nature and humankind together. Join us as we discover the story of the Melipona bees that worked tirelessly to create this special honey, all while pollinating over 80% of the Utican Peninsula. We'll speak to some very special people here in Playa de Carmen who understand the importance of these bees play in the world around us. Now, when you think of Playa de Carmen and the Mayan Riviera, bees are not the first thing that comes to mind. Usually it's the amazing beaches, shopping, dining, uh, and drinking on Fifth Avenue, uh, perhaps spending some time in one of those luxurious hotels or Airbnbs. And there's no denying that Playa de Carmen has exploded as a tourist destination over the years. But does all that growth come at a cost? Meet Efren. He's a beekeeper here in the heart of Playa de Carmen. Most of his bees are rescued from locations where they were in danger of being destroyed or dispersed due to human contact. Here at his home, Efren works seven days a week caring for these bees, doing all he can to share his knowledge and concerns for the centuries-old tradition. He took some time to sit down with us and explain what these bees mean to him and his family. How long have you done this, raising bees? Um, yo he tenido abejas for, formalmente, formalmente, y aprendiendo de ellas así formal, 10, 10 años aproximadamente. ¿no? Okay. Pero siempre hemos vivido con ellas, mm -hmm. sí, siempre hemos vivido con ellas, desde, desde pequeño siempre hemos convivido con ellas, este, en los huertos familiares y en el... Monte, los ranchos, ¿sí? 